So I'm basically gonna put um, some of this liquid molly in my car. And um, that's pretty much gonna be the gist of it. There's my old oil. I'm gonna put the new filter on and check my numbers. That's it, guys. Thanks. I honestly just can't believe how long my oil is lasting. This is definitely a first for me. YouTube is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. I'm bringing you guys another video. In this video, I want to talk about oil consumption. Now, there's going to be two different kinds of oil consumptions. You're going to have the oil consumption that is caused by a failed piston and ring, warranted up to 100K extended warranty by the dealership. Then there's going to be a traditional oil consumption. So in this video, I want to talk about the traditional oil consumption. A lot of people don't talk about the traditional oil consumption. For example, the oil consumption issue with the piston and rings that were warranted was from 2009 to 2011 and some 2012 models of the 2.0 T and the 1.8 turbo engine. And believe it or not, we have some um, 3.0s and some 4.2s that have um, oil consumption issue as well. So this video is going to talk about all Audis in general even if you have a RS5, RS7, all the way down to a 2.0 turbo um, oil consumption. And I know a lot of people out there are giving you guys a lot of tools and perks to help with the oil consumption, but I'm here to give you guys some real time results. The Audi manual, it says 1,000 kilometers is going to be one liter of oil every 1,000 kilometers. And when I looked that up on a calculator, that's roughly around uh, 650 miles. So in case you guys didn't know, that's 621 miles. So to give you guys a good perspective of that, 621 times five is 3105, which is 3,105 miles. Now think about that. Traditionally, we change our oil every 3,000 miles. In some worst case scenarios, it may exceed that if you are running a higher oil, but I highly recommend to stick to the 3,000. So what does that mean? That means by the time it's time to change your oil, your oil is supposed to be depleted 100%. So the car isn't designed to sustain the oil through the duration of your oil change. It's not to say that our cars won't keep the oil longer, but that's actually the spec that Audi is using. They're saying, hey, by the time it's time to change your oil, that means that you have to gradually, every 621 miles, add that one liter of oil. And this is not a defect because if you have owned German cars, you know, Mercedes, BMW, Audi, you know, even Volvos, I had an old Volvo before, they all share the same issue with burning oil. It's just the way that they're designed, especially if they're turbo. So for me searching different oils and trying different things, I tried this one thing from researching it online and it worked amazing for me. So let me give you an example of what I'm saying. I went 3,000 uh, miles without adding oil to my car and I still had about four and a half quarts of oil. Whereas before when I would change my oil, I would only have about one quart to two quarts if I'm lucky in my vehicle. So what I used was Lucas Oil Stabilizer. This thing has worked magic for me you know not only does it help with your oil consumption it also helps your pistons and rings and it kind of helps to keep enough thickness in the oil for your engine and your lifters to run properly without having metal to metal or the oil being too you know loose from the heat it's almost like a oil cooler for a car in the sense that it keeps its thickness now it's not making your oil gunky and thick. You know, it's actually helping to give it that body and that volume that it needs. So I, I highly recommend it. I'm not sponsored by them. However, in the link, I'm going to put uh, one of my affiliate Amazon codes to where you can get a discount. So I'm going to start dropping that. I've been working with Amazon lately to try to get you guys discounts. But yeah, this is real results, guys. I traditionally use Molly oil on my car, which is the best oil. I've used Castro oil. I've used Royal Purple. I use Mobile One. 
and the oils work fine but adding uh lucas oil stabilized to your oil changes will help you with your oil consumption it will help you tremendously i've heard in some cases it's, it's even helped stop leaks because it gives it that thickness that it needs so i'm just giving you guys my example you know i'm not an expert but i've been through a lot and i've seen a lot and i've tried a lot so i'm sharing all of my trials and tribulations with you guys in case you guys are running into this issue and you guys need to know what to do so yeah um lucas oil stabilizer i would definitely say replace one quarter of your oil when you're doing the oil change with lucas oil stabilizer and you're going to be perfect it doesn't hurt your performance in your engine it doesn't slow your engine down it actually makes your, your engine idle a lot better in doing this so yeah another video to you guys trying to drop the knowledge as you can see i have fun fun stuff i got some pools i got audio tech i got diys i have tuning performance make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to be kept up to date with the latest things with audi from b7 all the way to b9 all right thanks peace yo yo what's going on youtube i'm um, just gonna do a quick video on uh oil changes for our, our cars this is going to be for the audi a5 ba platform i do have a cheat code because i have air suspension that can go up this high just showing you guys it's like i have a lifted truck but in any case all you have to do is basically just uh jack up the front of your car so you do not have to pay money to do an oil change don't if you can put together an entertainment center if you can put together a chair uh uh, doing the oil change on our cars is literally um, on a one being hard skill level. So I'm going to show you um, my DIY on an oil change. And I know a lot of people may say, duh, but I just want to show you guys how easy it can be to do an oil change. So um, the only thing that I have to do right here, as you can see, is I'm going below my engine. And all I did, that's my, that's like my little oil pan right there. I unloosened this bolt from the bottom. This is a T40. I unloosened this from the bottom with my oil pan. And basically I got like a little $2 um, oil release pan from AutoZone and I'm just letting the oil leak out. Once I let the oil leak out, I'm just gonna put this bolt back in. Little bolt right there. And so, once I'm done letting the oil out and I put the bolt back um, on the car, I got this little tool, two bucks, like about $2.99 from AutoZone. It's basically a uh, oil filter wrench or tool. And you just put that on top of your oil filter. So as you can see, I got the tool on there. So the only thing I'm gonna do is, I, so I let the oil out already. So the only thing I'm gonna do is just loosen this up. Just like that. See how, how that just came out? So look, so it's loose. So once I take it off, it's pretty much it. Just get the new filter. And basically I put the new filter just basically on this and we're good to go um, put the new oil in the car um, so I'm gonna show you the oil that I'm gonna use so I'm using some liquid molly and if you have any leaks in your car or if you have a lot of blow by I definitely recommend this um, Lucas heavy duty oil stabilizer um, it just overall helps your vehicle run better, especially if you have over 70k miles on it. Um, it, it just just makes it work that much better. It prevents leaks. If your oil is too thin, it, it, it gives it the right amount of thickness. So you actually add this to the oil and it works perfect. So I'm basically going to put um, some of this liquid molly in my car as well as the Lucas. And um, that's pretty much going to be the gist of it. There's my old oil. I'm gonna put the new filter on and check my numbers. That's it, guys. Thanks.